The African elephant has had little to celebrate over the last five years, but this weekend its chances of survival just got a bit better. For years, poachers have killed tens of thousands of them for their ivory tusks, many of which are smuggled and sold at lucrative prices in countries like China and the US. But a new deal means selling ivory in either country could soon be banned. I think it's, it was exciting. It's a, definitely a, a step in the right direction. Uh, and, and again, like as an organization, we believe also the, the problem is on the demand side. We have to, if we, you reduce demand, then you really cut off the, the, the source. And I, I think as, as Wild Aid, we're happy for any little victory there is. It's already illegal to trade ivory internationally, but President Xi and President Obama have now agreed to begin to stop their national trades as well. It's hoped the deal will reduce demand for ivory and put poachers out of business. Tanzania stands to gain the most. It is fighting a poaching crisis. And in some of its parks, the majority of elephants have already been killed. We have lost already, what, 60,000 elephants in Selu. Uh, in the old country, 100,000 elephants. So it's almost 80% of our population. It's not only urgent, <laughs> it's far too late. We need action immediately. We needed it five years ago, but better late than never. For all their differences, China and the United States are united in their determination to stop the ivory trade. But time is of the essence. If the current rate of poaching continues, then some charities predict that the African elephant could be extinct within a decade. The two superpowers say they want to take timely steps to stop this. But for the African elephant, those steps are needed more urgently than ever. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Tanzania.